With the 1983 Jeep CJ7 being so close to completion, I just couldn't help but to sink my teeth into another off-road project. Now, I've been hiding this one at my dad's house. It's a 1980 Dodge Ram Charger. Now, this project is actually really special to me because my grandfather actually had one. In the early 70s, the Chevy Blazer dominated the two-door off-road market and Ford had the Bronco. That's when Dodge came out with the Ram Charger and Plymouth Trail Duster. Today, I have a 1980 Dodge Ram Charger SE. Ram Chargers were based on a shorter wheelbase of the Dodge D-Series pickup chassis and was primarily produced as a two-door four-wheel drive vehicle. This one has a 318 V8 with a three-speed torque flight automatic 727. All right, now I've had the truck for a little while now and I already started removing some of the trim pieces. You can see the trim piece along the side of the Ram Charger, the Ram Charger nameplate. I did remove all of that stuff because I already know the paint scheme that I'm gonna do on this truck is gonna be similar to that of the CJ7. Now, if you come this way and you check out the inside, uh, there's a lot of spare parts. So the front brush guard, the exterior tire spare carrier, all that is inside the truck, but we gotta remove all that stuff, get it prepped and get it powder coated. Now let's get this thing back to dad's house. <laughs> So I don't want to spend a lot of time getting this thing on the road like we did with the CJ7. So we're going to start with all the big things like the engine, transmission, and the brakes. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to move on to the cosmetics. So we're talking about lift, wheels, tires, and the paint scheme that I talked about earlier. So today I'm going to be removing everything around the front of the Ram Charger so I can actually pull the 318 out of it, but I won't be doing it alone. Oh. All right guys, so Omar and I have worked together in the past quite a few times. Here recently, he helped me remove the rear subframe on the Dodge Challenger. Before that, we put a Gen 3 Hemi in his 68 Dodge Charger. Now today, he's gonna help me pull this front clip off the Ram Charger, so let's get to it. So we'll hit you with the movie. As we're going through it, I mean, a lot of these electrical parts just look like chicken fried chicken. I like fried chicken. These battery terminal posts, I mean, I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> I just don't want to touch it. Uh, but there's so much stuff that's just unhooked. Well, I, like, I don't even know what was here, but it's already been clipped off. This has been cut. The only thing I do know is that the truck does run. That's how we got it down the street where you guys saw us open the video up. Um, good news is, okay, I'll take that back. I was gonna say not a lot of rust, but the tray on this battery thing, it just, it's starting to look like Swiss cheese, so. Oh my God. Yeah, so it's pretty much gone. And the uh, good news, the VIN plate number is, um, it's really important. I think that's the, that, is that the VIN plate? Uh, that, I'm not sure what it is, but, but. Uh, I mean, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great uh you know so that's the important stuff i'm not sure what goes there i need to jump on one of the facebook forums or if you guys know what this plate is on the ram charger or plymouth trail duster let me know in the comments below because i would love to know what is missing on my truck right here all right omar um at least in my car that's the fender tag and <laughs> okay it is on the fender so i guess on this guy it's a grill tag and it pretty much tells you the color and all the features that came with the car, uh, aside from the VIN number. So, so something we'll never know aside from the VIN number because it's gone. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. So we'll go based off the VIN number and I wonder if anybody can recreate that. Yeah. I mean, it's not too important, but for what we're going to use it for. All right, Dad. Uh, yeah, it's been a challenge uh, as to now. Uh, it does have some rust. It's not <laughs> too bad. Uh, this truck is from Arizona. So uh, actually on the back and it, it came out of a dealership from Arizona. It's still tagged from Arizona. Uh, it was found here in Texas. So it's not in such bad shape. Like Brian says, it runs. Uh, four wheel drive works. So we, we got a long way to go. Uh, or we'll get her there. At least it moves, you know? I guess that's the best part, right? Yeah, at least it moves. Cause you know? we'd be pushing. I mean, honestly, if it didn't move, we couldn't get it up the driveway. Right. <laughs> so that's a, that's a blessing.
Yo, no, he, no, he, he did this. He did this. He did the same thing. Oh, uh, I think he hit this. <laughs> Let's see. see what we set out to do we did we took the whole front clip off and there's still a spaghetti mess of wires out here that we need to get rid of and a lot of this stuff we're gonna cut out because we just don't want it and we don't want to deal with it uh, nobody's here because my mom ended up throwing down in the kitchen thank you mom and we had a giant feast we all ate we got stuffed and we got sleepy and you know what happens guys you end up slowing down we cleaned up the rest of uh, the mess we made and then we just put the ram charger away but as you can see we got everything ready now the next thing we're gonna do Let's pull this 318 out. Now once we pull the 318 out, we're gonna have to do some tests on it because it kind of smokes a little bit and we don't know if I'm just gonna reseal it or if I'm gonna go ahead and do like a rebuild on it. And if we do rebuild it, I keep saying wait, if I do rebuild it, <laughs> you get bro? Mm -hmm. If I do rebuild it, um, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, like I did all that with the Challenger. It's a ton of work and I'm really not trying to spend that much time. Once we started wrenching, I realized like this is why the Jeep took so long. Because this is this shit is some work, okay? This is some real work. So we got to this point, we ate, we got sleepy, but we did what we wanted to do, and that's a win in our book. Now, guys, if you're enjoying or if you want to see the progression of this 80 Ram Charger into an Overland vehicle, because that is the goal, uh, then definitely hit that subscribe button. If you like this kind of videos, hit that like button. Or if you want to see more of these videos, then check out one of my other videos on the Dodge Challenger Autocross Track Build, the CJ7 Restoration Project something else coming in the future but we won't talk about that just yet all right guys thank you so much love you see you later